morning to you, New Zealand, and welcome to a very special breakfast. This morning, we're coming to you, as you can tell, live from Cathedral Square in Christchurch. That's right, and there's a fantastic gathering here already, although it's very, very early. We are putting on this morning, of course, breakfast for Canterbury, and it is brilliant to have you with us this Friday morning. In the wake of the big jolt that hit the region nearly three weeks ago now, we're paying tribute to everyone in Canterbury who's had a bit of a horror time lately, to be honest. We have got entertainment galore, including a great lineup of your favourite Kiwi bands who'll be performing throughout the morning, including Scribe, The Fearless, Jay Williams, Stella, and Kids of 88. Don't forget the sausages. Sausages, sausages for Africa. Thousand sausages. Is everyone interested in sausages this morning? Because apparently we have five thousand, as Pippa said. Um, plus, we will find out the latest on the rebuilding and recovery plans for the region. John Key is going to come down. We'll Bob talk to Parker. him about that. I've got a very good idea for raising extra funds for Canterbury. It is a brilliant idea. I'm, I'm a little bit worried already. We're going to have the emergency services coming down, civil defence, the Red Cross, of course. It's all uh, in aid of raising money, really, to help everybody who, as you said, has had a bit of a horror time lately. Going to be a very, very busy programme. Let's get started right away. Here is Corin and NZI Business. Thank you very much, Pippa. Good morning. Welcome to our NZI Business Special. It's great to be in my hometown. Good morning, welcome to NZO Business Special. It's uh, great to be in my hometown and Nadine is of course uh, with us back in the studio for all the latest market information. Oh. Uh, ice cream, there's like a couple thousand ice creams here. This is the one morning of the year, kids, that you're allowed to have ice cream for breakfast. So come and get one, <laughs> I'm gonna start with one I right now. I was just thinking it was a little bit cold for an ice cream and yet we've got some kids just over here who don't seem to have a problem with it at all. Um, <laughs> Yeah, in fact, the people... Well, I'm looking at people now holding onto these metal railings with their bare hands, <laughs> thinking, you know, what are they thinking about? Look at the faces of some of the people well, that I, are here. I'll tell you what we've learned Look at this lady. Look at that weeks. lovely old lady. Oh. <laughs> she is so cool. Look at her little hand, her little hand on the railing. <laughs> oh. She what is a million learned, bucks, isn't she? Is it tough down here? Yeah, we're going to sell that lady today, too. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy her... Um, I don't know, what would you pay? <laughs> no, the more she shouts, the more the money goes down. Um, it's fantastic, and a some, some lot, of, lot of kids have arrived. Hopefully before the end of the program, we will show you the faces of all the people um, that have turned up here. Tamati would have had a better idea up there how many, mm. um, but it's a lot. Bob, you're a good person counter. What do you reckon? Is it a couple of thousand yet? Yeah, you've got a couple of thousand amazing people down here. It is morning. amazing. Already, I think you're gonna get more over the next hour or two. We'll pack this place out. Yeah, but it, fantastic. Say, it's absolutely brilliant to have you guys down here. What did you think of the Canterbury alarm clock this morning? Oh, it's very novel. <laughs> it is very novel. And effective. And it's, it's played havoc with the decorations in the, uh, in the hotel. Um, <laughs> We're going to be talking to Bob in just a minute, but let's check in with Corin, who, of course, local boy, is yeah. back home uh, and checking out business news for us. Hi, Pepe. Uh, hi, Paul. Hi, everybody. It's great to be home, yes, and I was uh, certainly woken up nice and early this morning as well, so that was uh, a good way to start the day. And that's news and sport for now. More for you at 8. Back to Paul and Pippa. Thank you, Ali. Thank you very much, Ali. Um, just have a quick look at this here. This is how New Zealand is run, and it's one of the benefits of living in a country like New Zealand. You've got the Prime Minister, um, you've got the Mayor, sitting in a huddle, talking with the leading ministers, making decisions on... Actually, the Mayor's just left, making decisions uh, on how... Ice cream The situation here can be improved, and obviously... <laughs> deciding what he's going to be eating for breakfast. We're talking about you, John. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. There, there they all are. The, those are the people responsible. Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> Any chance. Actually, I've got a Just... bone to pick with you, John. Oh, hang on. Hang <laughs> on one moment. What about me? Who's got <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, actually. <laughs> cards get handed out. And you sign all over my face. You sign all over our spaces. You take up at least half of the card no, signing no, no, space. No, no. Really? Well, they told me they didn't want Paul's. <laughs> oh, all right, that's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. Um, they wanted to marry you. <laughs> it, it, it was interesting. There's one woman down there who wants me to wax her. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what would she pay for both of us to wax her? Oh, oh, let's, um, not, let's not go there because... <laughs> Let's check out what's happening with the weather, and I'm afraid to say there's a few grey clouds, but it's going to hold off until at least nine o'clock. I know it will for us. 
Thank we... you very much for joining us for our special breakfast for Canterbury. It's been great to have you as part of the program. We have just had some huge gusts of wind. We've timed this perfectly. It's time he said he forecast it. I forecasted this. He did Can indeed. I just point that out? Look, we just have to leave and say a huge thank you to the incredible support we've had from the people of the region, uh, from, from various businesses around the region, and from our big sponsors Countdown, Farmers, House of Travel, and New Zealand Kiwi Bank. Thank you so, so much. Nicely done. We Nicely appreciate done. that. Don't forget the Red Cross phone number. Now, the Red Cross phone number is 0900 33200. And as we've been saying, the number has been blocked for most of the morning because so many of you, thank you, have been trying to pledge that $20, donate the $20. Please write the number down 0900 33200 and phone it at some point during the day mm -hmm. and make a donation. We're, well, of course, with our breakfast team here. Charlotte, put some clothes on, girl. <laughs> you look so cold. You know, there's a huge team behind the camera as well that have been involved putting this program together, a huge team of broadcasters. Uh, it's been really successful, but why we're here is because of this huge team of Cantabrians that are behind us and the spirit that they have shown. It's New Zealand's way of recognising what you've been through, guys. Congratulations for making it this far. Yeah. And thank you so much for having us here. And finish the sausages because we can't take them back. <laughs> Although we will try. All right, we're going to leave you now as the program has well and truly come to a close with the feelers who are, of course, back in the Garden City to play in their free Labour Weekend concert in Hagley Park next month. Yeah, we'll be back at the Best of Breakfast tomorrow from 7. From all of us here in Christchurch, have a brilliant weekend. Take care. Have a great day in paradise.